Dear Nick and Jack, My journeys have brought me far along Earth's reaches. I have recently been studying the evolutionary theories of Hutton, Lydell, Lamarck, and Malthus in my travels across the world. Hutton and Lydell have taught me of the processes that changed Earth in the past and how they are the same as in the present. Lamarck showed me how species adapt by changing and acquiring features, altering their organ sizes, and passing these changes on to their offspring. Malthus taught me of the struggle for existence, the fact that humans are going to grow faster than what is needed to sustain them. In addition to that, I've learned that nature provides natural variation, and humans select the variations they found useful, which is artificial selection in a nutshell. While organs and homologous structures are not used, either gradually disappear or become vestigial. My favorite concept is natural selection, or survival of the fittest. It has an odd relation to a species' fitness. It makes changes in the inherited characteristics of a population, increasing their fitness. I have learned this studying the fossils of animals with common descent and descent with modification. My next target is the work of Charles Darwin. His papers are heavily guarded, so I'll be lucky to contact you again. I hope to stay in touch. Sincerely, Dominic Jardine. Don't try what I'm about to do at home, kids. Hey, wait, 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 wait! Miss Smith said you can't have violence in this video. Boo! Technically, that's not violence. Don't worry, Miss Smith, these are trank darts. See? Sleeping. I'll take this. So sweet. Couple people with it, eat it after. What is this a map of? Let's get this on onto my panda. Not so fast, adventurer. I thought I got you already! You never actually got me. You missed me. Missed again. Missed me again. Dear Nick and Jack, my mission was successful. From the information I collected, I learned that Darwin observed notably different characteristics among the animals of the different islands that he voyaged to. I write this in haste, but I wish to tell you both one last thing before I go. With the evidence of geographical distribution, homologous structures, and similarities of embryology, Darwin created the hypothesis that came to be the theory of evolution. And the islands he discovered were called the Galapagos. I found a map of them. It is where I venture next.